Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight on WYLN News. I'm Gary Perna in for Paula Dagnan. Charges are now pending against a man from Hazleton after a fatal crash in Hazel Township last year. State police at Hazleton filed 16 charges against 30-year-old Christopher Eckert in the June 3, 2017 crash that killed 94-year-old Rosemary Lombardo of Hazleton. The crash happened on Hazel Township Boulevard just east of the Mountain City Nursing Center. Police say Eckerd was traveling east in a vehicle he did not have permission to drive when the car crashed into the rear of a car driven by Richard Paulshock. Paulshock's vehicle spun counterclockwise, traveling across the westbound lane onto the north shoulder where his vehicle hit a utility pole on the passenger side. Lombardo died at Lehigh Valley Hospital, Hazleton, according to troopers. Paul Schock was also taken to the hospital and later flown to Lehigh Valley Hospital Cedar Crest for further treatment of his injuries. According to police, Eckerd was not injured. Eckerd faces felonies of homicide by vehicle while driving under the influence, homicide by vehicle, and two counts of aggravated assault by vehicle while DUI. He also faces several misdemeanor and summary grant offenses. A Hazleton man was indicted yesterday by a federal grand jury on drug trafficking charges. A case investigated by the Office of Attorney General's Bureau of Narcotics Investigation along with the Luzerne County Drug Task Force and the FBI alleges that 38-year-old Kevin Brown delivered heroin and fentanyl on numerous occasions in 2016 and conspired to distribute heroin and fentanyl. He could face a maximum of 30 years in state prison. A guilty plea entered by a Hazleton man will mean that he must now register as a sex offender. According to prosecutors, 30-year-old Luis Rodriguez Berinos uh, entered the, his ex-girlfriend's home without permission on December 16th of 2000, excuse me, December of 2016. He then began torturing her and inappropriately slapping and slamming her against the wall. He pled guilty on Tuesday to indecent assault and simple assault and had other charges dropped against him. He is sent, set to be sentenced on April 10th. If you use authority parking garages in the city of Wilkesbury, you can expect to see a rate increase. Wilkesbury's Parking Authority Board voted yesterday to double the rate, daily rate to seven, from $7.50 to $15 an hour at authority garages. However, the hourly rate will remain at $1.50. The new rate is expected to go into effect by the end of February. The board also decided to contribute $20,000 towards a $45,000 parking study that will help address issues the authority is facing. Klein Township Police are asking for the public's assistance tonight in identifying this man in these photos. Police say the man is being sought in regards to a theft investigation. Anyone with any information is being asked to contact the Klein Township Police Department at 570-929-2354. All calls will remain confidential. Legendary Christian evangelicus uh, preacher who, for more that, who reached more than 200 million people worldwide passed away. The Reverend Billy Graham was born in Charlotte, North Carolina in 1918 and began one of the most influential preachers of the 20th century. His message reached millions through television, radio, and print media for more than six decades. He began his ministry in 1947 and spearheaded 400 crusades in countries around the world. He was also a spiritual advisor to presidents from Harry S. Truman to Jimmy Carter to George W. Bush. Graham suffered from cancer, pneumonia, and other health issues. He died this morning at his home in North Carolina. Billy Graham was 99 years old. Coming up on WYLN News, the Luzerne County Transit is expanding. We'll explain ahead. Plus, a school in our area is growing. But first, let's take a look at your seven-day forecast here on WYLN. Tomorrow, we can expect rain in our area, a high of 38, a big difference from today. A uh, low of 31. On Friday, we could see rain again throughout the day, a high of 39. Low overnight, 38. And on Saturday, rain again in our area, 47 for a high. 
a little better than those 30s. Stay with us, we'll be right back. advertising a student like me pitching you the same old ideas but I'm not gonna do that instead I'm gonna tell you what you can do with the Penn State degree you can help anyone go anywhere create and with 20 campuses to choose from you'll always feel at home look Penn State is amazing but your best years are just beginning come find out for yourself all Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. For four generations, All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram has been treating their customers like family. Stop in to get the lowest financing options and best service around. Whether you're in need of a Ram pickup with a snow dog plow, or have an active family lifestyle, or simply want to show off your fun, adventurous side, All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Tamaqua has a wide variety of inventory to choose from. February is Ram Truck Month. Stop in today. The Luzerne County Transportation Authority held its monthly Riders Forum yesterday. During the meeting, an announcement was made that LCTA will begin offering nighttime bus service starting in April. An exact start date has not yet been given. The Northern Loop and Southern Loop will be, pl will be taking place until midnight. The Northern Loop will cover downtown Wilkesbury to the Wyoming Valley Mall, Mohegan Sun Pocono Casino, and Center Point Industrial Park. The Southern Loop will begin in Wilkesbury and cover the Hanover Industrial Park into Nanny Coke, including Luzerne County Community Colleges. Services on the route for the first month will be free. Tuesday night, Hazelton City Council President Robert Gavio and Vice President Allison Barletta joined me for a taping of Topic A. We discuss Hazleton's finances and what they're expecting from the Pell report. What are you th thinking right now that we could see from Pell uh, come May? I first want to say that the Pell report was very informative. For being a new council member, sitting down, looking over those numbers, they broke it down from 2012 all the way up to 2017. Uh, and then they did actually a projection for 2022, mm -hmm. showing our deficit, showing, you know, one point some million dollars. If we keep what we're doing the same thing without changing anything, what we would have to look forward to. Um, so I do think that they're going to um, come in, suggest a lot, but they're going to have the tools. They're going to have the tools to bring in revenue, have the tools to put us on top of lists for grants, which will help our city and help our residents. Uh, and I think that was a great thing that they pointed out with, with once you go into Act 47, you're kind of pushed to the front of the line with some of the grant uh, is out there to help them with that. Uh, one of the things, and Bobby, you mentioned in the first part of the show, um, with the $850,000 that we got uh, as part of the, uh, the emergency plan to, to make payroll and everything, we have to pay that back. The good news is, though, it is interest-free and over over 10 years. But that's mounting to an already pretty large um, budget, budgeted uh, expenses that we have in the city with some of the refinancing that was done and kind of pushed it all together. But uh, I think w in the 2022 mm -hmm. uh, realm, we were looking at almost like $3.1 million in debt that the city has um, that could get a lot worse right. if something wasn't done. Well, you're exactly right. I mean, although they stress we're not the worst, we're certainly right. not in the best of shape. Because if you look at their projections on the line, I mean, our ex our expenses are are increasing and our revenue is staying right. the same. Uh, the truth of it is, I think when they come in, I'm anxious to see their report. When they come in, like you said, there are tools they have that we don't. Mm -hmm. I thought that you know, a little bit the IT tax to ensure everybody, a little bit the, the tax raise, a little bit of, of everything. I thought that even when it came to the end, because if they put the IT, it's going to revert back at the mm -hmm. end. Uh, I think what 
the increase in population, you'll spur, you will see new businesses coming in. I think you will see an increase in revenue. I think you will see more permits on homes, for people mm -hmm. getting the fixed home. And I think that would be okay. That would be okay. But their projections was was it was it 1.1 million or 1.3 million by two, by 2022? Mm -hmm. Was it Gary something around? Yeah, I don't yeah. have it with me. Yeah. Yeah. But, but you know you, what? It, it, it's not. It's actually showing deficits. Right. You know, what I mean, it's showing deficits. Then they also are sitting with each department. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I'm, I'm hoping they look for you know more efficient departments. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we're not overstaffed. I mean, our guys are doing work understaffed mm -hmm. and right. maintaining things that we have to maintain. If you missed the premiere of the show that happened just right before this newscast, you can catch it again on Friday at 5 p.m. and 7.30 p.m., Saturday at 5.30 p.m. and 11.30 p.m., and Sunday from at 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. and many times throughout next week on WYLAN TV. Emanuel Christian School in Hazleton is growing for the third straight year. WYLAN's Julia Wigan got a chance to find out why and how parents can enroll their children. Emmanuel Christian School expects their largest enrollment ever for the 2018-2019 school year. Tuition was lowered to allow a good education to those who may not be able to afford it. Their biggest change was eternal, having a heart change of wanting to be intentionally a blessing to the city of Hazleton. When you have that kind of unified change among your leadership, then things flow from there. And so one of the very first steps that happened two years ago is we changed our tuition structure to make it more accessible so that more families could afford to have the education that we're offering. ICS funds their school through mainly tuition, donations, and their thrift store, as well as pursuing some grant opportunities in the community. Quality of education is not, um, has not been sacrificed for, for cost. We want children to be able to come in and do well academically. So. Uh, part of our investment, that tuition, goes into learning support. We're spending over $70,000 just on tutors uh, and learning support. The school established itself almost 40 years ago in the basement of a church, then relocated to its current location on 725 North Locust Street, Hazleton, in 1996. ICS is grades K through 12, keeping class sizes small for a more personal teaching approach. The school, while their growing in size is welcomed, is reaching some crowded numbers. So if our projections for enrollment are what we expect, we do need to move the high school out of the building. We hope to put them downtown. Uh, the reason being our commitment to having class size be small. We only have a 20 student to each grade. That's our ratio, um, except for kindergarten, which would be 15 students per teacher. And um, because of that, uh, we are at max in terms of room space here in the building. Our best bet is to move the high school downtown. That gives them opportunities to be part of downtown Hazleton. Uh, they would have opportunities to do internships. They would be able to use the city as our campus, maybe access art classes at the new art building. The library hopefully would be close by and maybe even the Y. Along with art programs, ICS hosts a number of extracurriculars, including music, basketball, track, and hopefully adding soccer soon. The school serves students in the greater Hazleton area, including Weatherly, Crestwood, Tamaqua, Mahoney City, Berwick, and even Lehigh. Uh, so for enrollment at Emanuel Christian School, the way we do it is anyone who is interested should first give us a call or send us an email and we will get them an application. Everyone needs to fill out the application and take a placement test. The placement test is to help us know where their child is at so that we can provide the learning support that is needed to give them the best educational opportunity possible. But we really do try to take everyone that we can serve. So there isn't a situation, we don't not take someone because of academics. If, if there's other reasons that we can't serve them, then we would work with the parents and make that decision together with the family. Applications are being accepted for the 2018-2019 school year. Tours will be provided by appointment and Tuesday, March 13th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. More information on Emmanuel Christian School can be found on their website, www.icshazelton.org, and Facebook page. You can also call the school at 570-459-1111 or email admissions at icshazelton.org. Reporting from Hazelton for WYLN News, I'm Julia Wiegand. Thanks, Julia. Category, game show host to moderate the debate. Who is Alex Trebek? That is right. The AP is reporting that Jeopardy! host Alex Trebek is set to moderate the debate 
at this year's Pennsylvania's governor race. This year, the Pennsylvania Chamber of Business and Industry's annual dinner, which is set for this October, will, will include a 45-minute debate. Democrat Governor Tom Wolf will face off against the winner of the primary Republican election as it will be happening in May. The 34th Chamber Dinner will be held on October 1st in Hershey. Trebek will also be on hand to talk about his more than three decades as a quiz master. And thanks to our graphics department for that wonderful graphic. Coming up on Claire's News Choice in Community and You, we talk to a doctor who has a brand new office in Cunningham. Plus, the VA announced some town hall meetings. Those details are ahead. But first, let's take a look at today's midday winning lottery numbers. Good luck if you played, everyone. Stay with us. Next question. What makes you think that you're tough enough to be governor? Well, I completed Army Ranger training and I served as a paratrooper in the 82nd Airborne Division. But any experience creating jobs? For over 25 years, I worked with America's most respected companies on growth and creating opportunities. But what qualifications could you possibly have preparing for all the fighting, arguing, and bickering in Harrisburg? Well, my wife Dawn and I raised five children. <laughs> Paul Mango, he's ready to serve. E&R Cycle, located on South Route 309, is now your Textron Off-Road side-by-side ATV dealer. Textron Off-Road is proud of their past and driven by the future to give you the best off-road ATV with power and performance. You can build and price your vehicle. Choose from the basic Stampede to Stampede 4X or the side-by-side -side Wildcat Trail to the Sport or LTD model. No matter which one you choose, you'll have an ATV that will get the job done. Stop in or call E&R Cycle at 570-455-7430. This week on Topic A, we get an update on the Downtown Hazleton Alliance for Progress with their Executive Director. We'll learn about projects that are ongoing and what we can expect in 2018. This week on Topic A, only on WYLN. TV, everyone. I'm Gary Perrin. I'm very pleased to be with Dr. Dan Benio here at his new office in Lantern Lane, right in the heart of Cunningham. And what a beautiful office you have, uh, Dr. Benio here. You're in it just a little bit and it uh, feels just like one of those old time doctor's offices down the corner in Main Street. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. We love it here. It's uh, We've been here since the beginning of February and it does have that kind of farmhouse, country house feel to it. Yeah. So this is, this is really great, and uh, with you moving your practice here, you spent a, a little bit up on uh, Airport Boatway and in the township. You're now down here. Um, still accepting patients, and, and people are still welcome to come in. Oh, certainly. Uh, our hours are open uh, throughout the week. We also offer Saturday hours and always accepting new patients. And so um, we're located right down here in Cunningham. It's uh, pretty easy to find and searchable. I know, and this is such a beautiful Lantern Lane building here uh, in Cunningham. And um, you and your office here are providing some services that maybe some other doctor's offices aren't providing in the area. Uh, you and just a handful of uh, doctors through the Lehigh Valley Physicians Group are providing them, correct? Certainly. Uh, we offer uh, blood work, phlebotomy services, uh, so you don't have to travel too far to get your blood work. And those results typically come back within 24 hours. And we also do uh, EKG services, injections, uh, lesion removals, so a whole host of services. Wonderful. So somebody down here in the valley maybe doesn't want to travel up uh, the road, especially in the wintertime, maybe it's a little bad out, they can say, I can keep my appointment and just stop in here. Certainly, yeah. And uh, it's easy to call and just make an appointment, and uh, we have a, 
a decent amount of open slots and can get you in pretty soon. Wonderful. I know there's a lot going on keeping busy. So with the new office here being moved in here, uh, what are some of the things that people can see when they come in here? Uh, what are some of your favorite things so far? Yeah, it's got uh, great, um, I won't say views, but good uh, light, natural light that just comes in through the window. It actually blinds my secretary. <laughs> That's how bad it is. But it's great here. It's uh, We have a stream out back. You can hear kind of the water running. And it's just a very uh, nice new office. Uh, that kind of uh, lifts the senses almost when you walk in. Yeah. And it's really cool, especially on a, a nice day, even though we're in the middle of winter, on a nice day you can open the windows and, and mm -hmm. kind of get that fresh air and, and relax. Oh, certainly. Yeah, it's very nice. So, Dr. Ben, you know, if somebody out there wants uh, to stop in and, and become a patient of yours, how can they do so? Uh, they can call the uh, number uh, 4LVH um, to contact us. Um, they can also go online and look for the number to um, contact to schedule an appointment, and you just ask them to schedule with Dr. Daniel Benio, and uh, we'll get you on the schedule. Very important, Daniel Benio, because they want to go over to your dad, right? <laughs> Correct. Yeah, we have patients sometimes go over to my dad's office who are established with him, but we're located in the Cunningham office. All right. Mm. So a lot going on. So a great new office. So if you're looking for a new physician, come down here and see Dr. Dan Benio in the Lantern Lane Plaza here in the Cunningham Valley. Thanks so much for joining us here on Community and you, everyone. We'll see you next time. You've lived with it for too long. That recurring joint or muscle pain that makes everyday tasks a strain and repetitive movement almost impossible. Why put it off? The sooner you seek treatment, the more options you'll have. The faster you'll be back in full stride. The latest non-surgical solutions. The region's only nationally ranked program. That's orthopedics in action at Lehigh Valley Health Network. For creative cuisine and handcrafted cocktails, visit Four Blooms in Drums. Boyer Insurance Agency, 78 Sugarloaf Avenue in Sugarloaf. Quality coverage, competitive rates, discounts, recreational vehicles, boats, campers, and motorcycles. Find the coverage you want at the right price. Call them at 570-788-3543. Want to watch WYLN over the air with an antenna? These maps make it easy for you to check out our over the air UHF coverage area using the Longley Rice propagation mode. All of our broadcast and cable maps can be found on our Facebook page and on WYLNTV.com. State Senator John Udichak's office reminds residents that there are several 2018 rent rebate programs going on. Those programs are being held for residents at local apartment buildings in Luzerne and Carbon counties through mid-March. The senator says that if you need assistance with filing the application for the rent rebate program, you can contact his offices in Nanticoke, Jim Thorpe, or Pittston. Those numbers are up on your screen right now and will be available on our W Island Facebook page. The Department of Veterans Affairs Medical Center will be hosting a town hall meeting in March for veterans, family members, and the public to provide feedback on the department's operations. The meeting will take place on Tuesday, March 13th at 5 p.m. The meeting will take place on the second floor at the Recreation Room at the Center at 1111 East End Boulevard in Plains Township. Employees will also be on hand for the meeting as well. Again, that meeting will take place on March 13th, that's a Tuesday, starting at 5 p.m. at the VA Hospital in Plains Township. The Downs at Mohegan Sun at Pocono announced the 2018 racing, racing season schedule. It's beginning soon. Opening night will be set for Saturday, March 17th at a new post time for 7 p.m. for all races at, at night, with the exception of Easter Sunday, which will happen at 5 p.m., and all three Triple Crown nights. Breeders' Crown for 2018 will be Saturday, October 27th, with eliminations Friday, October 19th, and Saturday the 20th. The stables will be open for the season on Thursday, March 1st at 7.30 in the morning. And the familiar sights of horses training will soon be getting underway. 
first sign of spring for the 53rd annual year of racing at the Downs is right around the corner. In just a few days this coming Saturday, the 40th annual American Cancer Society Telethon will be held right here at the W Island Studios from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. This year's theme is 40 years of giving so many can go on living. The day will feature live music and entertainment, WYLN TV personalities, bake sales, tricky trays, and a free health fair. The public is encouraged to stop by and take part in the very important event. Phone banks will also be open so that viewers can call in and make a pledge. WYLN TV will be broadcasting live all day. So, if you can't be there in person, be sure to tune in for the coverage. There is some great entertainment lined up. To make a donation, you can call 570-459-1212. Write that number down. You'll hear it a lot from us this weekend. And again, the telethon runs from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. on Saturday, the 24th. Stay with us. A look at today's weather is next here on WYLN News. Chura's Auto Sales has been serving the area with quality vehicles since 1954. Chura's Auto Sales is known as your friendly dealer and now in their fourth generation and voted the best used car dealer by the readers of Standard Speaker Choice Awards. John Chura would like to thank everyone that voted for his business. When you need a quality pre-owned vehicle, choose from a large selection at Chura's 570-454-7229. ETA Benefits is a full-service independent insurance agency and employee benefits advisory firm proud to serve Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania since 1999. Call 570-669-5050 or go online to etabenefits.com. WYLNCA35's children's programming is designed with the specific purpose of serving the educational and informational needs of children. In compliance with FCC guidelines, a copy of the Children's Programming Report is on file for public inspection at WYLN, 1057 East 10th Street, Hazleton, PA, during normal business hours, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday. Weather on WYLN TV 35 is brought to you by Dan Muser for Congress.